So let's go over to func.ink.php. Let's come down and create our shorten function. Okay, so as uh, shown when we called it in url.php, we need the URL and code. So let's go ahead here and type in URL, comma, code. Okay, so the URL is obviously um, susceptible to SQL injection when we use our query inside of here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, escape the data. Okay, so uh, the code doesn't need escaping because it's automatically generated and it escapes here um, um, well actually it's not so we could we could re-escape it but because it's not user uh, we you know it's not user defined uh, we don't need to uh, but let's go ahead and do it anyway just for the purposes of this so mysql real escape string URL and let's copy that line come down and just change this to code and code okay so we've escaped the data and now what we want to do is actually insert um, this value okay so we just uh, don't need to assign this mysql query to a variable we just say mysql query insert insert into remember our table is urls that's over here there and we want to insert the values values first of all nothing because that's just the auto incrementing um, field uh, then we want to insert another two so the first one is URL and then code okay so this shorten is going to um, escape the data from the URL and the code it's then going to insert this into our database so we should have uh, the URL and the code inserted into a new record and then we want to return the code Okay, and that's going to be displayed back out to the user um, because this will return the code. Now we don't need to do it this way. What we could do is take this function and put it above this echo and then just echo out the code that we've already generated here. Okay, but um, I'm just doing it this way because I prefer it and it keeps things simpler. Okay, so we return the code after we've inserted it and then we get um, this passed back as we've already seen to our field. So let's go ahead and update these. Now what we can do is check when we do actually, let's just get rid of this, uh, when we do actually enter a URL, we can check that the data has been inserted. So if we click on browse, you can see that the table seems to be empty. It says here, uh, we've got no uh, results. Uh, MySQL returned an empty result set. We've got nothing in our database. Let's go ahead and type in phpacademy.org press enter and successfully shortened your URL so we've got this code here which is 5UA capital M B M let's go over here and click browse and you can now see that we've got the URL remember URL ID is incremented to one we've got HTTP colon forward slash forward slash PHP Academy org and we've got that code there which matches that code there so later when the user comes here and paste this into a separate window or post it into their blog or Twitter um, we then correspond the code to the URL and forward the user to this URL so that's essentially the basic concept of the URL shortener uh, which hopefully you already understood prior to me showing you here okay so um, now that we've generated this and we've inserted it into the database we now need to create a function that's going to redirect the user um, to a uh, to this the the URL that corresponds to this code um, and that will be entered in the form like that into the URL into the browser and we need to actually pick this variable up or pick this forward slash up rather than as a forward slash and it this being a folder at the moment you can see that you know the folder was not found um, we actually need to process this as a variable so there's um, a way that we're going to do this um, and I'm going to show you how to write out the HT access in a moment but the first thing we're going to do is actually create the function that's going to redirect the user so let's call the function redirect and we're going to call this instead of from our url.php we're going to call this from index.php and we're going to call this up here in some tags above all of our code okay because we're going to be using the header function uh, to redirect the user 
So now what we need to do is we need to uh, take in um, a code in here. Um, we need to redirect the user depending on the code that is appended to our URL, meaning this thing here. Okay, so the uh, redirect function is going to look something like this. Now, now is the time when uh, escaping this data is really important because obviously the user could specify anything after the forward slash and could inject data or uh, inject things into our database. So we're going to redefine the code um, variable and that's going to be equal to MySQL real escape string code so we're basically protecting ourselves and reassigning the code to a new variable or well, the same variable but just overwriting what was already there okay so now what we need to do is actually check if the code exists because if the code doesn't exist we're going to be checking you know we're going to be redirecting the user to a value that might not be in the database so now what we can do is say if code exists code do something here Okay, so our code exists function, remember we created earlier up here, which takes in the code, selects um, the count where the code um, is in the database, and it returns whether it's true or false. So if um, the code cannot be found, this block here won't be run. So that's very important because we don't want to redirect the user to a page that, well, a, a URL in our table that doesn't exist. So now what we can do is we can say URL is equal to MySQL result. Remember the MySQL result function takes two, uh, three parameters, um, well two parameters in the last case, but three in this case. We're gonna have the query here, which um, I'm go not gonna use in obviously a string data. We want to select row zero and the value URL, okay? So now what we can do here is create the query. So um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll define this up here. So URL query is equal to MySQL query. We're performing a query there, and we're taking the uh, result from this, uh, and we're well, we're taking the the query and putting it into the MySQL result function. So the query is as follows. Pretty straightforward. We're saying select URL. Remember, URL is the um, value here which is phpacademy.org in a case that the code would equal this. So we're saying select URL from URLs, which is our table name, where code is equal to code, okay? So we're selecting the URL where the code is equal to the code. And that's where the code exists uh, is important. And also where the, um, um, where uh, yeah, so where the code exists function is important because if the code doesn't exist, this query will fail. Because if this code here was, you know, 5TGHUI, for example, um, the code doesn't exist because that doesn't match that and there's no other records in the table. Therefore, this query will fail and this result will fail because it won't have found anything from the query. And then we're, you know, we're. It's not going to work essentially. So code um, is the um, code that's been specified from this redirect function, and then all we're doing is we're saying header location colon and a space in here, and we're appending on the URL. So this URL will be in the case of code equaling five U A M B M will be phpacademy.org. So this result here will actually be http colon forward slash forward slash phpacademy.org and then we're redirecting the user to phpacademy.org okay so now we need to uh, define this in index.php and we're going to take this in the um, in the form of a um, get variable so it will look something like this we've got index.php and then we're going to have dollar sign um, redirect equal equals sorry and then the code here is going to be there okay now this might look a bit confusing because this is not what we are generating for the user as a shortened URL but in actual fact when we type in um, the code here 
the HT access file will process it as that. So if you're confused, you'll see a bit later on in the HT access how this is going to work. But for now, when we press enter, nothing's happening because we haven't done anything here. Okay, so remember we're working on index.php and index.php here. Okay.